Let's take a look today at the Euro breakaway approach. It's a second way to play breakaways. A lot of goaltenders in the NHL, college, junior hockey use this way. And effectively, you're using the Y, but you're making a body into a Y. You're going back to the post, stacking your glove, stacking your blocker, depending which way they pull it. We're going to explore it in great detail today, and you'll see some cool video, some static shots. They're going to help you use this tool and put it into your toolbox. I'd like to introduce you to 10-year-old Poopa Walden. Here he's showing the inverted Y, the traditional way to play the breakaway. And you can see on the diagram here, you have your initial angle, your initial challenge, your retreat, and you're sliding across just in front of the post. This is a crucial way to force a guy into a deke instead of shooting. And we'll see as we go on here why this is going to be important. The key with the traditional Y theory is how far you come out initially and how soon you back up. A lot of that's going to be dependent on your skating ability and your size. If you're smaller, you're going to have to come out further. If you're bigger, you can come out less. And again, if you're a weak skater, that's going to play a big role in how far you come out or you don't come out. But for me, you'll find a comfortable distance to challenge. The key is to stay there long enough without backing in too soon. If you back in too soon, you open up too much shooting space. <music> time you're going to get comfortable with how far you come out initially and which path you take diagonally across the top of the crease. Do you come across the top of the crease with their diagonal slide or do you go back to the post? A lot will again depend on size and individual preference but experiment. Find out what works and what doesn't and if you keep getting burned make an adjustment. <music> Of course, this isn't textbook, but Poopa never quits on pucks and makes a great save. And now, the purpose of this video, to talk about breakaways, where we use the Euro breakaway approach. I came up with this name, you can call it whatever you want. Basically, a lot of European goalies rely on this uh, quite a bit. And basically, your body slides straight back into the net, but your legs form the Y, sending your foot back to the post. As you see with Pupa, when you're a smaller goalie, this is very risky. And I like to use the Euro breakaway approach as a secondary save selection. So if you can't play it properly with the traditional Y, revert to the Euro Y. Battle and compete. Enjoy the chaos and try to make a save and just battle. And you'll see here, when you look at this from the side, the glove stacks, filling space, where you're taking care of the bottom of the net. For them to score, they got to put it over you. Good shooters, of course, can hit this. When you got a bigger goalie, they fill more space, and the keys to get this package as close to the puck as possible. Working with him for 10 years, he's one of my best students. He's been in the mentor program since he was 10 years old. Now he's 20, playing in London for the London Nationals, trying to win a Sutherland Cup. He's had a great journey, played AAA, won a Memorial Cup with the Windsor Spitfires, backing up Mike DiPietro. Today we're going to learn a little bit about Brock Beyer. So Brock, how long have you been playing goal? Since I was five, and five, yeah, and I've been working with you since what? Since I've been nine, nine ten. or ten, correct? Yeah. And where'd you grow up? I grew up in Stratford, Ontario. Your uh, hockey journey? Yeah, so I uh, I signed a sixteen-year-old with Mitchell. That was my first junior team, and then um, I went to Lisville, won a, a cherry uh, cherry cup, and I went to Windsor and was lucky enough to hop on that team to win the Memorial Cup as well. And, um, you know, after the OHL, there was some stuff that went down, so I, uh, I took um, my skills out to BC, and now I'm back home uh, for my final year junior, hopefully to uh, win a championship with London. Excellent. So, uh, can you talk really briefly about uh, the important role that your father played in your career? And yeah, my I couldn't even tell you. I probably thanked him uh, a million times. He. Uh, He's been my rock since day one. I remember uh, starting lessons with you. We'd wake up at 4:30 in the morning to drive down to drive down to London. I sleep in the back, and he he would drive. But yeah, he's uh, he's been a mentor. He's been my best friend since day one, and you know I wouldn't be anywhere without him. 
And so it, we always talk about it's important to have lots of goalie coaches when you play, and you've had some, some great goalie coaches along the way in junior and in the different teams. And talk to me a little bit about the philosophy that you've sort of seen myself try to put in with you in your time being a goalie. The, the main thing I probably, you know, learn from you in Future Pro is just keep things simple. You know, you don't have to – you see a lot of goalies trying to be, you know, these splits and Vasilevsky's trying to make these insane saves. But – with you, uh, I've really learned how to keep things simple, you know, use my size and, um, you know, take take everything I've learned from you and, and put into my game, which is, you know, keep it simple and um, just trust your skill set. You know, you know what to do with, uh, to stop the puck, and uh, you really brought that out of me. And last question is, Steve, really good looking in real life, or is he real good looking on TV? Um, real life, I'd probably give him a 4.6. Um, out of five? Yeah, no, out of ten. Uh, on TV, I, I think he edits himself a lot. Um, <laughs> you stop recording? No, it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on TV, probably eight, eight, eight and a half. He edits a lot. If you had an advice uh, that you could give to a little nine, ten-year-old goalie just starting out, like Waldo, who you saw this morning, what would the advice be about his hockey journey? Your journey is never done. You're never done. Goalies develop way longer. Um, you know, you may take different paths than other goalies, but um, your journey's never going to be done until you hang them up. And, uh, you know, you never stop, you never stop competing, you never stop playing. Thanks, Brock. Thanks.